Words carry weight, but on Plymouth Avenue. So I brought together 16 artists and each artist I, um, they were assigned a letter. Every letter carries a message. This letter T right here, you got all the racist stuff that happened back in the day, like Jim Crow with the black face. Justice for all there, and then at the top, God heals. Together, 16 letters spell one phrase. Black Lives Matter. It's true, Black Lives do matter. Saturday. We were out here seven hours in the heat on Saturday. We melted. Beverly Tipton Hammond and her husband were among the artists who created the BLM mural in North Minneapolis. We've seen similar images around the country following the death of George Floyd. Beverly worked on the letter A. And I normally paint on canvas, no bigger than 18 by 24. I put a healing uh, vine there because healing is what we need in our hearts. If truly racism is gonna not, gonna no longer be a part of who we are, then we need to have our hearts healed and kind of stripped of stereotypes and prejudices. The Barnes sisters are from Rochester, Minnesota. Yes. yes. They drove up with their mother to take a picture of the image. They too want our nation healed. Yeah, we're all human beings. It's not fair because we're all the same. Just, if we shouldn't be treated differently just because of the color of our skin. Dallas Downey. I worked on the eye. It had a big eagle in the middle and then like scale of justice and all the little birds. Volunteered on Saturday. He echoes the girls. And I've also faced some racism being Native American and a person of color. This is our world we're going to be living in. And if this systemic racism and oppression continues, then it's gonna keep going on and on and on, and we want it to stop. Off camera, some critics told me the mural is striking, but called it an empty gesture, saying what we need instead are policy changes. We do need policy, but every organization, every individual has its role to play. And so the museum plays a role in creating art and also in, in recording, documenting history, and history is unfolding right in front of our face. Creating art that inspires, art that heals, art that motivates, it's also a form of protest. Of course, it's not the only thing that needs to be done. There needs to be changes in the racial disparities to address policies, to address housing, to address education, employment, racial justice. It gives hope, and that's what art does, because art comes from the heart of the person that created it, and you never know what's gonna to touch someone when they see your work. Now that mural is on the same street as the fourth police precinct in Minneapolis. It's on the north side. It's already drawing big crowds and a lot of traffic concerns. So many people are showing up to take pictures that there's posters now that are warning people to be careful and not block traffic. It's a really busy area. We'll be right back.